Tonight, four special guests take on TV's ultimate challenge. They'll be given a costume, props and a set, but no script. Presenters Vernon Kay and Kirsten O'Brien and comedians Phil Nickel and James Corden make up our team for Thank God You're Here. Welcome, Paul Merton. Good evening and welcome to Thank God You're Here, the show where four performers have to talk their way out of the impossible situations we've put them in. Tonight we've got one guest who's been here before, but three who are making their debut. They're as nervous as four kittens being asked to fly a jumbo jet. So let's bring out our guests for this evening. Would you please welcome Vernon Kay, Kirsten O'Brien, Phil Nickel, and James Corden? Welcome, welcome, our performers for tonight. Vernon, um, Vernon Kay, uh, tell me, what does the K stand for? Uh, 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 Mr. That's good. <laughs> yeah. uh, on on uh, family fortunes, of course, um, you're used to sort of people just say the first thing that comes into their head. Uh, is that something you're good at? It's raw reversal tonight. Is I it? will be saying the first thing that comes into my head. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Very excited. We're all a little bit nervous. Yes. But we're as nervous as kittens in jumbo jets. OK, that's yes, good. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting a laugh. No, I didn't get a laugh before. <laughs> um, Kirsten, um, you've done a lot of television uh, with children. Do you like children? Uh, no. You don't like them? <laughs> Why does someone eat some babysitting? Do no, 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 that's fine. Um, so, um, how does this how is this going to compare to what you usually do? Um, I think this will be terror in mm. comparison to children. It'll actually mm. be harder, yeah. I think. Okay, okay, well, let's see how it goes. Phil, um, yes. you're just about to start a nationwide tour. I am. Where's I'm, that going? Uh, I'm going all over the UK and a little bits of, uh, of Ireland with the American Dream Team Male Dance Company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight you get a little preview. <laughs> Did you say dream team? I did. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, James, James, um, welcome to the show. Um, of course, you, you know, people know you from Gavin and Stacey, very popular show. Um, have you done this sort of thing before? Uh, no, not for a long time. I haven't done a bit of improv for a while. I did a bit in New York mm -hmm. a couple, about a year and a half ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just the way I roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so a maverick who refuses to play by the rules. That's, so that's, that's, that's exactly, exactly what we're looking for. Out. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've won lots of awards. Have you got room on your mantelpiece for one more? Perhaps the Thank God You're Here trophy? Do you know what? I would bin all the others if, <laughs> if I were. <laughs> 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 well, uh, they would mean nothing to me if I win tonight. Okay, they would be fair irrelevant. enough. Um, that might just be enough to see you win then. Um, <laughs> uh, just to confirm, none of you have any idea what you're going to be doing this evening, have you? No. 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 Okay, so you better go backstage and get into costume. Ladies and gentlemen, wish them the best of luck. <laughs> guests the opportunity to warm up before the show and this afternoon our guests got a taste of what it was like to be a TV chef. Everybody's talking about your fabulous new restaurant, the Buddha Baby. The Buddha Baby! I yeah, love it, yeah, yeah. Tell so us I, about well, I named it after my father who was over 400 stone. Right, yes. How would you describe the cuisine? It's fusion. Yes. Yeah, it's fusion. We do steak and kidney pie a la noodles. And uh, your signature dish is? Uh, lamb vagine. Mmm, <laughs> lamb mm. <laughs> Lamb That sounds good. Mm. It's just a butterflied lamb. Yes. In, in a... In a in <laughs> right. It's a lamb vagine. Right. Mm. Yummy. Now, last week, unfortunately, you had to sack your assistant chef. What happened there? Big misunderstanding. Uh, she took the Thailand thing too far. There was a dead dog. She'd knocked it over in the street. She thought, brilliant, we'll cook that up. I said, it's got to stop. I said, that's just too far. Well, unfortunately, there was a terrible accident in mm. the kitchen, and uh, Alfonso, he fell onto a cleaver and took both of his legs off. <laughs> and uh, although, under compensation rules, uh, I have, I'm supposed to keep him on, I can't let the man with no legs cook in my kitchen, because obviously, you know, this is not yes. a good place for a man <laughs> to be. If he's cooking, you know, you get a knife in the eye, you know, you get an egg on the head, you get a powder on the face, this falls off, your gas goes in your eyes. So I'm doing him a favour. Yes. 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 Well, and he was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> now, I believe we have a photo here um, of you with a very special guest who came in last week. Uh, yeah. What did you make for him? Uh, well, I did my speciality, actually, which was the uh, the oven chips with the chocolate sauce. <laughs> he had just a massive um, bowl of Rice Krispies, that's all he wanted. He loves them, <laughs> bloody loves them. And he said to me, he said, listen to that. And I said, what? He said, it snaps, crackles and pops. And it did. It really did. But he loved it. He loved it. I mean, it was served beautifully on a bed of, like a, like a, oh, what's the word? Uh, milk. Mm -hmm. and, then, and, then, and then sprinkled lightly with some sugar, mm -hmm. a spoon and, you know. And there it was. Mm. And for dessert? Cocoa Pops. So this, is, this is a fuck chai. I'm sorry, I thought that's what you said. You think this is funny? This is not funny, this is I'm cooking. So, what would you say you really look for as a chef in your fruit and vegetables? Happiness. You can <laughs> always tell when a vegetable is happy, be it organic, be it uh, factory farmed. Like, take a look at uh, this, for example. Yes. This is a sad vegetable. <laughs> this is a happy vegetable. You see? Tell us about these spices you yeah. brought in, some interesting these spices. These spices are actually, this is a, that's a, a nine grams of the highest, uh, the highest grade heroin, which I use <laughs> when uh, the meal doesn't go so well. I pump that into my veins and I go to sleep for the day. I get up the next day. It's all gone. <laughs> Do you want mm, Do you want delicious. No, what is it? It's the Colonel's secret recipe. <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and this is just something we knock together at work. It's, um, it's, it's, a. Uh, uh, Rind of a satsuma with some oil, mm. chili, coriander, uh, chili, cumin seeds, and hot French semen. Must be French. <laughs> Lovely. That's Must great. be French. So we begin this. Lucky recipe. Pierre, we call him. <laughs> yeah. He's in the middle. Okay. Let's see how our guests fared when they were asked to explain their unconventional teaching practices. Would you describe it here at the centre as a safe environment? Yes, very safe. I mean, look, we've got soft toys everywhere. Um, the hooks, they're, they're very safe. You're not going to take your eye out that, are you? Oh, that's oh, not oh, very safe. safe. That's not so safe. Yeah. Yes. Is it also common practice for children in your care to be playing with power tools? Yes, it is. <laughs> They've built, like, a lot of that fencing. Well, what about the outdoor Wendy house? Mm. I know what you're going to say. It's an old fridge painted blue. Well, you see, it's unplugged. And it happened once, <laughs> right? It happened once, and yes, that airlock has been desealed now. Take me through, if you will, a typical morning timetable here at the centre. Uh, the children are dropped off, then what? Yeah, the children are dropped off, and then we play Chase the Dragon. Chase the Dragon. <laughs> Everyone's Chase the Dragon in their time, haven't they? Hey! Mm. Hey! I see that little glint in your eye! You've chased the dragon several times, my friend. Now, the report suggests that story time involves little more than members of staff reading aloud from Heat magazine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Bella. Yes. <laughs> Nuts, zoo. We don't do Loaded. Not like them down the road. That's who you should be seeing. I've seen copies of Loaded in there. Nuts, zoo, razzle. It's, sim it's as simple as that. Our report also suggests that at nap time, uh, the children are regularly offered a shot of Kahlua with their milk. <laughs> because it helps them nap. It's a natural sedative. Yeah. Or Campari. So it's not just all but Kahlua they prefer because it's like Nesquik, so... <laughs> but you should see it bang out like a light. Staying on nap time, just for a moment, is it common practice for the children and the members of staff to go to sleep? If all the fire escapes are locked, it is not a problem if we all have a nap. <laughs> Lunch on offer here at the centre. Would you describe it as uh, nutritious, uh, suitable for children? Jamie Oliver wouldn't complain. <laughs> what would a typical menu uh, involve? Crisps. 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 That's finished. The list is literally finished. Just crisps. Because <laughs> the, uh, your chef was overheard telling the children that fruit is for losers. Fruit is for losers. I mean, have you ever had fruit? Yes. Loser. Got <laughs> all. Turkey Twizzlers, turkey burgers, turkey dinosaurs, turkey dogs, cats, mice, rats, all gone. The rats weren't that popular anyway, so... Oh, Susie, how are you? Susie, how are you? The playground's on fire again. Oh, no! Well, that sounds like fun. Go get the marshmallow. Here, have this bucket. You know where the tap is? Fill it up, douse it, you know, like we did. If that doesn't sort it out, then come back, OK? Just in okay. a... All right. 
If there's any problems, just get in the fridge.